It's often absolutely essential to have high quality captions available as an accommodation appropriate for certain audience members in a meeting. But sometimes you just want to be able to get words on screen and it's okay if they're not perfect. I want to show you how you can get on screen captions using a cool free tool called caption.ninja together with uh, OBS. So um, right now what I'm doing is I'm just creating a camera in OBS. Um, and then I'm going to move over to Chrome in order to open the caption.ninja website. When I do that, it's going to ask me for permission to use my microphone. And after I hit allow, I'm just going to be quiet for a moment while I click this link in the background to a separate overlay tab. Now you'll see that I have two tabs open. The one on the left has a little red dot showing me that it's accessing my microphone. And the tab on the right is an overlay window which is showing real-time uh, uh, artificial intelligence-based or machine learning-based transcription of what comes into this browser tab. So this is actually cool on its own rights, and you can send the URL for this um, overlay window to anyone on the web who can then watch uh, along with your words. But if you want to put them on camera, all we need to do is just drag the URL of this overlay window over into OBS. And OBS will ask if we want to make that a browser source. Um, and once we add it, those things will get overlaid. Now, obviously, this is not a camera that you would want to send into any meeting. But if I double click here, I can change, let's say, the height um, to 180 pixels. Um, and that 180 pixels, I can then drag around. Uh, I can make it a little bit smaller um, or resize it in any way that, that I wanted to. And so once I've gotten these captions appearing the way that I'd like, um, these are what are called open captions rather than closed captions, which means they're going to be burned into the underlying video feed. I can then hit Start Virtual Camera um, and now I can use the feed coming out of this camera with any video conferencing app. Um, so if I start, let's say, um, a Zoom meeting, um, and I'm in this Zoom meeting, I can use the OBS virtual camera um, as my camera in the meeting. Um, they're going to show up a mirror image here for me uh, because Zoom thinks that I want to see myself in the mirror. But for anyone who's watching along at home, um, the words that I speak should just show up directly on top of my camera feed.